Hello, my name is Ronnie. I'm from East Germany. My friends usually call me Rocket. And that here? That's Harry. He's from West Germany and he doesn't like to be filmed. Together, we went to Canada in the summer of 2019 to paddle down the Yukon River. 900 kilometers from the Source Lakes via White Horse all the way down to Dawson City. Very much like the people during the gold rush did. Along the way, we encountered some amazing wildlife, enjoyed the vast space of the Yukon territory, and got to know some pretty amazing people. And this is the log of our adventure. So, made it to the airport and um, through security um, at some concerns with the, with the size of the luggage because I really maxed out everything I had in terms of kilograms and, and weight. So, unless the airline makes some sort of problems and I get on the plane, it should be fine. And, yeah, can't wait to get the adventure going. The first stop is going to be Vancouver. Connected into White Horse. Yeah, lots of things to do. We need to go shopping tonight somewhere in Canada. Uh, still need to get some odd piece here and there of equipment. And yeah, very excited to get it all going. The flight from London to Vancouver was very relaxing. I had a great conversation with a Canadian lady who's really keen to get to know about the Yukon adventure. Uh, flying over Greenland was certainly a highlight and. It's an, a dream destination still for me. And then, yeah, I made it to White Horse. Initially without my canoe though, that got stuck somewhere in Vancouver, but was then delivered later at night, uh, also thanks to the help of the hostel. Uh, I managed to get all my shopping done, got some additional gear like fishing, kit, um, and obviously provisions uh, for the first couple of days. And then it was time to look out for Harry. Uh, who came over from Skagway, Alaska, um, a guy that I actually only got to know a few months earlier in Laos and who's currently, or at the time, was traveling the world by bike. So, Harry! Hey. <laughs> is, hello, Harry! Harry fährt schon den ganzen Tag, den ganzen Tag mit dem Zug hin und her. Gefällt das so gut? To my surprise, Harry already came to Carcross to meet me instead of uh, Bennett Station as we had agreed. And uh, so we enjoyed the journey along Bennett Lake together, uh, which is very scenic and uh, quite amazing. Also had already a bit of time to catch up about some things that happened in the last couple of months. Before we got going to assemble uh, the canoe, um, to be ready, very much like uh, the folks back in the gold rush. They built about 8,000 boats here at this point. Also, wo schlafen wir denn heute hier? In der Hütte. Der Hütte, die sieht, die sieht aus so wie ein Carcross, das Besucherzentrum. Das ist wie diesen lokalen Design. Once we had finished assembling the boat and uh, sorting out a sleeping spot, we had a bit of time to explore around Bennett Station, had a barbecue and a few drinks before we retired for the night. Harry, das sagt doch mal guten, das sagt doch mal guten Morgen, Harry. Wenn ich jetzt, wenn ich jetzt hier schon die Kamera auf deinen auf dein Käsefuß halte. <lacht> Aber du siehst doch, also jetzt gerade mit deinen Haaren, das sieht doch total klasse aus. Mach aus. Mach direkt aus. Oh, Schrampf? Ich hab's auf Kamera, keine Angst. Harry. Ich weiß nicht, wie das Leben ist. Sag doch mal, was ist so? Ich geht jetzt los. Ich große Uhr. Das Boot ist gepackt, ne? Das Boot ist.
ist fertig, Rocket und Tor ist ready. Wir haben auch ganz interessanterweise den kleinen Hebel hier unten gefunden, um dass die Angel richtig funktioniert. Das war wieder mal ganz klassisches Thema, das immer weit. Harry hat die Idee, ich habe mich gebückt. <lacht> During the first part of our journey, we paddled across four lakes, back to Car Cross and eventually to Whitehorse, about 170 kilometers. A bit challenging at times due to wind, lack of current, but with an absolutely spectacular scenery. Harry, zeig mal, was du drauf hast. Und was ist das? Ja, ja, Rainbow Trout, ne? Sehr gut, Mann. Ja, die Paddle across uh, Lake Bennett was very nice. Uh, saw the train again, which passed us uh, on the way back towards uh, Car Cross and beyond. Had a nice lunch break, um, though we didn't didn't savor the fish that we caught earlier on just yet. Uh, and it was pretty windy, white tops, and uh, a bit scary at times, uh, to be honest. So we opted for an early break. So, also, vorzeitiger Stop heute. Es ist doch etwas. Oh, wir fließen hier hinter. Das ist doch etwas sehr windig. Yeah, once you get out of the wind, which does happen on the island, you hide behind the trees. It was just an amazing day. Um, sunny, uh, amazing scenery. And yeah, what a great first day in, in hindsight. Uh, saw our first bear, also the only one that we would see on the trip, but hey, just a spoiler. Um, then, yeah, Harry kind of cleaned the fish, something I hadn't done before, so I learned that, that was nice. And yeah, just had an amazing dinner, a lot of kidney beans and uh, onions and uh, what have you. Uh, yeah, quite some memories of the first night out there. Second day on the Yukon finished and um, made it off Lake Bennett, uh, which was another struggle <coughs> with the wind, although less than yesterday. Um, we're back in Car Cross, <coughs> where we kind of were first met with Harry and uh, did some shopping and um, had a beer and uh, did some internet stuff and said hi to like family back home and my my love in Colombia and uh, my son as well and uh, yeah now we continued a bit further down the river um, yeah, something like four or five kilometers we're gonna stay here leaving early tomorrow that's the plan to avoid um, the winds on the next lake unfortunately we have another two to go to Whitehorse and then one more <laughs> and they are a bit of a pain in the butt so yeah well right now we're cooking it's gonna be beans again and sausages and it's wind free at the moment that's excellent So, yeah, good morning. A little bit rainy today. A little bit on it. So I have the fourth night and uh, yesterday we had a good day. I made like uh, 40 kilometers and got through some critical sections on the on the lake. And just as we arrived sort of in a small village at the end of the track was like a, a nice restaurant 
I had a burger, he had a pizza with some beers. Sunshine, oh, fantastic. Yeah, so we camped in a, it looks a bit like a bird's kind of sanctuary or something. Little, little side river. Caught another, <laughs> surprisingly, caught another fish. This time a pike, which we only discovered when we took the fishing rod out of the water. Yeah, so late start this morning because it was raining. Just making a coffee, packed up already. We are ready to go and tackle the last lake before White Horse. Oh, day four, it's behind us, and uh, yeah, we had a light start because of the rain and a touch of laziness. And yeah, uh, it started amazing, no? We, we saw like these four, um, how do you call eagles. them again? Huh? Eagles. Eagles, eagles, kind of brownish eagles. And they were just sitting there, we saw like they were wood. And initially we thought they were like people fishing, then wood, and it was four eagles, but quite amazing. And the lake was quite kind to us, so there was no wind today and uh, made for easy paddling. Had an amazing lunch break where we cooked the pike that we caught yesterday. Yeah, and now we are actually very close to the end of the fourth lake. Tomorrow we're gonna get on the on the Yukon River actually, into Whitehorse. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> for like some shopping. And yeah, so now we are like in a, in a lake, a little bit of a dry place here. And uh, yeah, quite an amazing sunset. Birds around, forests around, birds singing. They can't hear it because we're listening to some heavy metal music or <laughs> right now some romance stuff. <laughs> yeah, everything quite amazing. The last day before we got into White Horse, we were extraordinarily blessed with animal sightings. First up, a bald eagle with a young chick, which we could uh, see from not too far away, uh, and followed by a golden eagle that we got super close up, as basically 2-3 meters away, as if we didn't exist. Uh, so a beaver carrying a branch from one side of the river to the other to build his house, we saw a moose. Um, but ultimately we got back into civilization with the bridge, we had lunch, um, cars crossing, a noise we hadn't heard for a couple of days. Uh, yeah, from there you go through a lock, um, soon after comes the White Horse Dam. There you have to take the boat out of the water and portage it around and the dam to then set in uh, below the dam where the river has a real current and then you go to White Horse. We stayed in White Horse for a day, had a beer to celebrate the first 170 kilometers and went shopping to resupply for the next section of the trip, but that's part of another video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, but do comment, ask questions. There's some more information on rocketontour.com, I'll put the link in the description. You find me on Insta and Facebook as well. See you in the next video. Bye.